here we have the Genji SLR CQB Special Edition from Gel Blaster, AK Gel Blaster. So it's from akgelblaster.com. It's a special edition being it's a special color, really. This was a limited color. And I want to do some upgrades to it. Um, but this is, you know, the, the more expensive blasters you get into, the more complex they are, more parts there are, more parts you can lose when you take it apart, and then certain things don't function. So I wanted to show you guys that this one actually is pretty easy to go ahead and change the spring out on, at least if say that's all you wanted to do. In this case, I'm actually gonna change the spring out and I am going to um, go to a longer handguard and a longer metal inner barrel and then a longer even metal outer, outer inner uh, that will go on there as well. So just wanted to talk to you quick about how you can take this apart rather easily and leave the gearbox in the receiver because this has like the last round hold, op hold open, you know, it can do a few more things, which means there's just more parts involved, harder to get the gearbox out, easier to misplace parts, that kind of stuff. So I was pleasantly surprised when I started messing with it that I don't need to take the gearbox out. I like that. All right. So to access the spring, right, all you're going to need to do is, you know, you've got your your buffer tube is on here, or this, at least this version of one, right? So you're gonna unscrew this piece. First, you gotta take the cap off, right? Unscrew this piece. And then it allows you to push this back enough so that you can unscrew this piece. And then you just slide this piece out and then this comes off, okay? So this is just threaded right into here. So you can see your threads here. Now you can easily access the spring. And of course that retention pin opens just like every other retention pin in all the gearboxes. So just put your screwdriver in there, turn it, pop it out. You can switch the spring and then you can go ahead and just do this in reverse. Screw this in here first, put the cord through it, obviously. Slide this piece on, screw this back on on the back side of this to lock it in place and you're good to go. So that's really easy to do, right? And that does allow you too, if you want to switch it up and go to a standard buffer tube, as long as you buy one that is a threaded one, you could go ahead and put that on as well. You'd probably want to get some sort of um, either sling piece or cap piece to cover that, right? If you go that route. And when I do the custom kit I'm putting on here, I'll show you how I'm going to handle that. Now to access the front, because like I said, I'm going to replace this smaller, shorter metal inner barrel with a much longer one. So taking that off, really, all you have to do is just pop this pin, slide it forward, correct? But again, being a better blaster, there's a few more things. So you can see maybe there's two little holes right here. So when this slides in place, there's actually springs inside the receiver that kind of push that slide in and lock that. So what you need to do is take some sort of small little, you know, tiny, tiny screwdriver, a little uh, pick or something, and push that one down so that you can slide it over. And once it's down and it starts sliding over, that spring's, you know, stuck behind it. So I just slid it over basically, you know, as far as I needed to, to slide off the top of the receiver and then just kind of stuck it back in here so I don't lose it, right? So that allows you to slide this whole piece off. Of course, usually it's easier to kind of pull back on this to get it all the way off. Here on your handguard, this handguard is locked in place using these. Again, super easy to just use the Allen wrench that's included or one you have to take those pieces off. And then you can take your handguard off. There's a little spacer here that can fall out, so you don't want to lose that. That's just a little plastic spacer piece, okay? So here's the top of your receiver. You got your barrel nut that unscrews. And then this piece can just pop out. The nice thing, again, better quality blaster. You've got this metal outer here. Of course, that's just 14 millimeter counterclockwise. That unscrews like that because I'm going to go to a longer version for the build that I'm doing anyway. So that's kind of a quick rundown of how to go ahead and take this apart, how to do a simple spring upgrade for sure. That's really easy. If you do want to go to a longer barrel, 
you can do it this route too. And that way you keep the gearbox in there with all those good functions. And you don't have to worry about losing any parts because that's a lot of the issues. And some of these tiny parts get really hard to put back in place, even if you do remember where they go. All right, comments or questions, post them below. Uh, of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. Tech, check out akgelblaster.com. If you haven't yet, they ship fast. They're from Hong Kong. You should get your stuff in about one week. And um, she's very responsive. And uh, they keep bringing cool, new, high-quality blasters to market. Thanks for your support.